It's always a good day when you can eat some chocolate. Yes. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> We're so happy to welcome our friend, Sean Askinowski of the founder of Springfield Zone. Very delicious boutique chocolate, Askinowski chocolate. So good to see you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for coming me. in. Oh, my You're pleasure. a legend in this area. Come well, on. that's funny. You I don't know, know you about are. that. <laughs> yes, you really, really are. People know you, talk about it, talk about your chocolate. So give us a little history of the chocolates. So I was a criminal defense lawyer for about 20 years here, so people got to know me that way for a long time. Uh, and then about 18 years ago, I decided to quit that and start a bean to bar chocolate factory. When I started, there were three of us in the United States starting about the same time. Now there's probably 300. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of competitors. Um, but the, the hallmark of our business is something we call direct trade with farmers. So we buy cocoa beans from farmers around the world directly. We pay them directly. In all of these cases, we've helped farmers open bank accounts um, so we can pay them. And we profit share with them and uh, just go visit them. So for example, uh, this time next week, I'll be in Tanzania and wow. visiting cocoa farmers there that I've been working with for 14 years. Wow. And I'll profit share with them. They'll receive a copy of our consolidated financial statement in Swahili. So we open our books to the farmers mm -hmm. so they can understand how the profit share calculation works. But that's really the hallmark of Askinosi Chocolate is working with farmers and helping them and, and partnering with them and community development projects that we have around the world. Mm -hmm. Wow. This might be more of an in-depth answer. So why is it important to do direct to the farmer versus all the, what's the other way that it would happen? Well, the other way it would happen is there would be multiple layers of buyers, like local buyers, regional buyers, and they take money away from farmers. Okay. So it puts more money in the farmer's pocket. Um, and that includes fair trade. So I'm not a supporter of fair trade chocolate. I don't know about fair trade other stuff. But there are multiple studies that show that fair trade chocolate, the premium that consumers pay, you know, at the store shelf, doesn't find its way to the farmer's pockets, so they don't really get that money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So direct trade, it's, it's just, um, it's about relationships. Mm -hmm. So some, some of these farmers, like we were talking about Ecuador before we went on the air, I've been working with the same farmer there for 18 years. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's amazing. Yeah, it, it is. Has inflation hurt, or how is it with the price of cocoa? You oh, know. well, this is a very big deal in the chocolate world right now. Um, when adjusted for inflation until last year, cocoa prices in the world market have remained the same, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate because that means that farmers weren't getting more money. Mm -hmm. And there are many farmers around the world, especially in West Africa, that are very, very poor. Most of big chocolate, so Hershey's, Mars, Nestle, Mondelez, these companies buy from West Africa and they never paid farmers more until mm. now. 12 months ago, the price of cocoa beans went up 300% in the last 12 months. Wow. wow. So that's a lot. That's a lot of money. It's a very, very big thing from everybody from Hershey's to people our size. And that just means that these companies are having to pay three, four times, five times more for cocoa beans. So when I'm in Tanzania next week, and I've been working with these farmers for a very long time, one of the big discussion points is going to be, how do we navigate through this? Because I've been paying them way more than they would otherwise receive mm -hmm. from, you know, from anyone else. But this is a real challenge. And, it's, and so what you're going to see over the coming 12 months on the store shelves is rising chocolate prices. Um, I'm happy you said it. that yeah. because I noticed the other day, like a bag of, you know, like Hershey's, the mixed stuff, it was like $15. Yeah. I yeah. was like, why is this uh, Halloween? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I appreciate you mentioning that too because unfortunately, um, a company like Hershey's, for example, they are buying cocoa beans that have been essentially harvested by enslaved children oh. in West Africa. Both sides of this dispute agree that there's 1.5 million kids in the supply chain in Ghana and Ivory Coast, and we don't buy there. But that's why this chocolate that's before you, it's a value. Now, these bars are, you know, they're going to be $10 at our, our store in Commercial Street or at Mama Jean's or Brown Derby Wine Center here in town. And you might say, well, that seems really expensive. And it, it is expensive relative to the bag of Hershey um, bars. But this is a real value because the farmers are actually getting the money directly. We wire it straight to their bank account. And that's what we'll be doing next week when we're in Tanzania. So this is a value because you know where your money's going and it's uh, made locally. 
and we make it all from scratch, from the bean. Right. Wow. Can you tell us about some of your products right here and the packaging as well? Because it's, yeah. it's, it's so informative. Uh, well, this is uh, our fruit punch bar from Tanzania. In fact, that let's just taste that if you don't oh, mind. I would love to so, taste. So, so this is our fruit punch bar. This is the um, lead farmer. Uh, two of our four farmer groups are led by women around the world. If you'll just oh, put yes. your hand out. Oh, this amazing. is a 52% dark chocolate, I love but that. it has strawberry and pineapple. <gasps> what? Yeah, so this is a really good product. So we're, mm. I'll be tasting, with, tasting this with the farmers next week. Mm. I bring chocolate on every trip yeah. so farmers can taste what they've worked on. Mm -hmm. But um, we have wow. a coconut milk. I don't have that to taste, but you guys can have this after mm. we... Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, coconut milk, raspberry, and then our brand new product is quinoa bites. Well, I'm excited. I love, what? These, I love quinoa. Yeah. And so this is a fun product that we just came out with. And if you'll hold your hand, maybe if I give you too much, there just we go. oh, that's okay. yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. So um, it's quinoa, uh, crispy quinoa, covered mm. in our coconut milk chocolate. Look at that's these are really great. good. These are very good, and um, that is kosher. delicious. All of this is kosher, vegan, vegan, gluten dairy free. free. Oh yeah. wow, dairy yeah. free? Yeah, because this milk chocolate, we call it milk chocolate. It's made with coconut. Oh, yeah, so not. I was gonna ask because that doesn't taste like the Eskimo chocolate I normally have, like yeah. the darker versions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it tastes it tastes lighter, so that's yeah. how you make it. Yeah, yeah. That it's made. We cover it in this chocolate, which is our coconut milk with beans from Ecuador. Mm. Yeah. Oh, these are so good. That is amazing. And I like how it has guilt free on it because mm -hmm. I can eat this yeah, whole bag right, in one right. sitting. And oh, are yeah. these available on yeah, at you your can, store? Yeah, at our store online. People buy at askinosi.com, and we ship it all over the country or on Commercial Street. Mm -hmm. um, and I, they may have them. At Mama Jean's now and Brown Derby Wine Center. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh, These are going to fly off the shelves. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank one more time, what's your website if people want more, more information? It's askinosi.com. So it's just A S K I N O S I E.com. And you're supporting local, local and helping farmers around the world. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having me. Thank you. All right, you know, coming up, we will finish making our egg rolls with the secret sauce. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. I could eat that whole bag. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs>